Hey guys, being here. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, uh, two tips about materials. So the first one is how to remove material from an element or a family, and uh, another one is about um, the object style. How to set the default material in object style. Okay, so let's start. So first, um, let's create a project. And in this project, our architectural component, I'll place a desk here, and also I'll place a different type desk. So same family but different type. Okay, so now I'm going to load another furniture. So uh, same same to the desk, which is a furniture, and I'll I'll probably just load this bed. Okay, I'll place it here. So now let's go to 3D view SD and uh, okay so the first one is so as we can see the desk desk there's three different material in this um, um, in this family and uh, if you click on this desk so when you check the material for a family you always first click on this um, family and see if there's any instance fa uh, parameter there. So for example, this one, there's no instance material that parameter here. So the next step is go to edit type. So now you can see this under material and finish. There's three, there are three uh, material parameters here, so which we can change them. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. So usually um, when you first um, start Revit, you probably think uh, you can just get rid of it, delete. But no, Revit uh, doesn't allow you to do this so what you need what you should do is click on this little box and then here this little icon hiding uh, in this corner it says by category is actually mean which uh, mean uh, actually means get rid of the material so so now it's become it becomes um, by category so you can do repeat this, but uh, the easiest way is you can just select this, Control C, and then Control V and Control V and OK. Now you can uh, as you can see this this is a different type to that one, so this change won't affect that one. And you you can see there's no material here. And if I need to get rid of the or get rid of the, the material from this family, so I can simply Control V, Control V, and OK. So now there's no material in here. Okay. So and also this. So first, click on the family. Try to find the material parameter in the property. So if that's an instance parameter, but there's none. So what we the next step is to edit type and trying to find any material parameter. There's also nothing here, so which means which means this the, there's no material parameter for this family. So and then to get rid of this these uh, material, we need to click select this family and edit family, and then you need to try to select all the solid elements in this family. So let me try to uh, select all this and then. It won't show because it's a multi-category selected. So what we need to do is click on the filter, and uh, you just need to filter out all the non-solid uh, part. So for example, this one, there's three three line lines here. So I just uncheck that one and uh, apply. Uh, maybe maybe click OK. So now you can see all these eight elements. Are all solid okay so now we can here click on here and get rid of the material so now it's all gray right and let, let load this into the project so now um, there's no material for these two three family and the, so um, I forgot to mention um, I like to do this because I use Lumion to render and I like to just uh, have them under one material and 
to do that, uh, we still need to do one more thing. So go manage, okay, and object style, and F for furniture. See this one, and move your cut. So see here, this is the material, and this on the furniture category. So there's some sub sub category, but uh, I'm not. I'll talk about this later, okay? So move your cursor here at this corner, click on here. And then we will just, let, let's just create a new uh, material, okay? Default uh, furniture. And I'll change the color of this to maybe green color. And okay, and okay, and okay. So now you can see these three, um, uh, family so this one so there's no now this um, by category you probably now you understand what why it's called by category because uh, it's by category this is a furniture category and uh, this material will go to this one uh, on the furniture by category so this is a default material for the furniture category so I'll just uh, um, let me just play oh sorry wrong one if I place another furniture I'll just load a random furniture okay so and then for example this piano and okay I'll place it here and let's, let's see if there's any material parameter unfortunately there's no uh, just need to edit family so I'll just select all the solid and get rid of this and low back into the project and you will see all the because this is furniture it will match all this and if 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 I place a different um, different category for example I'll just load a um, maybe casework okay I'll just put uh, Cab. I'll just let me just place a cabinet here and this cabinet so is there any material parameter here no no edit family have a look select all filter uncheck the line and good that's no material so which is good so now come back it's showing different material because this is a casework category. So if I go manage object style casework, see here, and if I if I uh, for example duplicate this one and create a casework, and I'll change this to a purple pink color. Okay, so we'll see this is a default material for the casework category so if you don't if you don't have all these default materials set um, they, they the material for this category will potentially will be the same or great in Lumion it will be by default if you if you, you um, use Lumion so but um, yeah and uh, a little bit extra so let, let's go back to the object style so previously I show you that uh, sub, some sub category and uh, how to use this so you can actually you can set um, for example different material for different sub category so uh, I'll show you how this works so edit family and uh, go to manage object style so here I'm just going to play a create a new subcategory I'll call, call it handle okay so and then I'll click OK and then select all the handle and change um, change the change the subcategory to handle and low back into the, the the project so now there's nothing happening and also still there's no material for this family at all but if we go manage object style 
and under furniture if I so see that hand handle here if I assign a material for it so for example I'll just duplicate this one and the it default um, handle okay and uh, give it a different color again maybe this one uh, red okay and okay and okay and you will see this the handle become red because the subcategory of this handle is the red material and this uh, also so for example if I edit this family and I pretend this is a handle okay so and if I so um and also uh, there's no handle subcategory for this uh, uh, family you, you will probably need to create the subcategory as well and then assign this to uh, where is it here handle and you will say this this part will become red because the subcategory of this part is the same as this one okay so um, yeah I think that that's it um, so let's let's go back to the talk today um, today we talked about how to remove material from a family and also we talked about how to use object style to set some default material for a different category okay so that's it for today uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time see you tomorrow okay thank you bye